it looked like there, I see Frodo. I see Elijah. Elijah, but then in certain stuff, I'm like, this is like a handsome Squidward Elijah. Like, what? All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, everybody, to the Collecting Brothers. I'm John, this is Josh. Let's get into SH Figure Arts. So, SH Figure Arts had their event, uh, Tamashi Nations 2024. Basically, they just were like showing off all their cool products that they have out, all the new stuff that's coming out, and even stuff that hasn't even been approved or is allowed to be sculpted, but somehow they did it. There, those are going to be called display only items. So there's no release date, they don't even have plans to release it. They're just kind of showing off what they can do. Kind of a big flex for SH Figure Arts here. But let's get into it here. First up, Gamera. So we got Legion here from Gamera to Attack of Legion. It's that big old hunking, spiky crab thing fighting Gamera from Gamera 2. So I love, love these kaijus, all their fun designs. You got a baddie for your Gamera to fight off. And then next up, got another one for your Ultraman to fight off here. We got the Alien Hippor Hipporit. And this one is, this one's fun, dude. I like how crazy it is, but also like my favorite kaijus are where you can tell there's someone inside there. And right here, like, look at that pose. Right. It's like the arms are super stiff because you can't move. It's like the rubber or the latex is in the way. Yeah. It just sits there, right? You can just feel that there's someone in there, a human being that kaiju. And uh, I think it's, I think it's super fun for uh, Ultraman though. But they also dropped a new Yu-Gi-Oh! This uh, uh, Dr Stardust Dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh! 5. D. So this is not Yu-Gi-Oh! The original, of course, the 5D. But yeah, looking looking crazy. Dude. This one's an interesting design. Dude. Exactly, yeah. And this is just partially me. Aesthetically, once we get to start Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D, the monsters started to be getting like really crazy, really weird details, like almost too much details. Mm -hmm. And so that, that's not the SHR's fault. It's just like the 5D monsters have too much details where it's no, it, it, for me, it no longer looks aesthetically pleasing because of how much details they're packing in. Sometimes you can have too much of a good thing. Yeah, you know, sometimes less is more. Yeah. So, but yeah, here's the uh, Stardust Dragon from Yu Gi Oh! 5Ds. You know, it's fun that they're doing that. Fun that they're going to different uh, Yu Gi Oh! versions, right? They're not just sticking to the tried and true, what everyone loves. You know, so, everyone. So, I'll tell you right now, you better stick to the tried and true. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll see. I, that's what I, I just need a product read. That's all I need but we'll, we'll take, see what everyone else let's give any of the classic marches but i mean i guess this is like classic for another generation right exactly exactly and, and that, the, you know sh for arts jumps around a lot so let's keep it going here let's jump over to dragon ball z from the new show daima dragon ball daima we have glorio he's kind of like a little say like a, a cop basically in the show but he helps goku he's on the, he's helping goku and shin here because but they've all turned mini but he's a big guy uh, he's from the demon realm he's it's, He's the demon. He comes from the demon realm. Uh, we also are getting Pansy here. And this is, I love this character, man. A fun little design on this. I think they did a good job of gun. Daima apparently is like some weird made up word that's referring to demons. And so the, the, this whole show deals a lot with the demon realm within Dragon Ball lore. And then we also have Supreme Kai Mini. So this is the small version of him when he gets turned small. That is funny. That is funny and cool like you. Glorio though, I'm really impressed with that figure. I think that character design is is so clean and i love the kind of fluffy jacket like there's just enough wrinkles it's not just smooth like you can tell you know it's like those the puffer jackets that people wear during the winter time um i'll tell you why you like this design han solo it's han solo yeah, 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 yeah. that's it yeah yeah oh no, that's it that's it but yeah. no yeah this guy's clean even mm -hmm. i haven't even seen the show yet but just looking at this guy i was like oh i need this yeah it's on hulu by the way it's subbed so you don't need Crunchyroll or anything. Just pick it up on Hulu. It, it's 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 they haven't released dub yet, right? No, dub has not been released. Because no. si Samuel Class on Hulu. Oh, okay. You know Samuel. me. Like this is the one. This is the one anime that the dub is better. There's no anime that but, exists besides yes. this anime. The dub is way, way, way better. But they turn into kids, so like the voice change is kind of you buy it a little more. Right, but no, I still gotta wait for my my Goku voice actor, dude. Okay, I love okay. that guy. I he's a, for, yeah, he's yeah, he, he doesn't. I gotta really, wait for all the OGs. That's just ingrained, right? That's that's yeah, that's yeah. memory forever, man. All right, but there's Pansy, Supreme Kai as well. But Dang, and want, then hopefully, yeah. get, I want a baby Frieza. I wonder if that pops up in the show. That'd be cool. If we get a baby Frieza. At this point, I think Frieza's dead. Dead. 
Oh, John. He always comes back. Yep. Is <laughs> anybody dead in Dragon Ball Z? That's true, yeah, that's, that's one true. of the banes of this show is that he could never keep anybody dead. Especially with the demon uh, realm showing up. Some people are in that realm. He got revived like the 10th time in Dragon Ball Super. And he was yeah. still alive after that. Yeah. Golden yeah. Freezer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. We'll see. Nobody's dead. All right. Next up, though, we're getting the legendary version of the Goku here. And this is now getting a best selection release here. So I love this, man. Got the the better hair, paint apps, the the ripped gi, you know, just yoked, yoked. Goku is Super Saiyan, man. This is fun. Yeah, I, I have the original. And honestly, I would say this is my favorite Goku. Like yeah. out of all the figures, it's just the most fun. And it has the most kind of things going on with the ripped pants. And they do it so well, like getting the articulation still there, but having that ripped mm-hmm. effect. Mm-hmm. They they such good technology and engineering going on in there. And to now get that, you know, the premium color, uh, good for fans to who missed this figure. Cause this is honestly my favorite Goku figure. And that's cool too. Like if this is, you know, a really good figure. Like you're saying, putting in the best selection, people can get their hands on it. They can be buying more of these figures. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. All right. From one shown to another, let's jump over to one piece. Here we have monkey D uh, Luffy. Uh, future island egghead and just a different version of luffy man we're gonna probably get you know a whole bunch of these right it's it's their it's their goku it's their naruto it is uh, luffy but yeah looking cool in a very very like different outfit too not just a slight variation but a pretty drastic variation on on, uh, on the character right that's also awesome. the only reuse is like the bottom half of the of the legs right there's yeah. using the the shorts and the legs but everything else completely new you got his Astro Boy aesthetic, Astro Boy boots going on. <laughs> really great release here. Really good. Expected to be uh, May 2025. Pre-orders are going up November 18th, friends, for uh, this character, for Luffy. Let's keep it going here with the One Piece. We're getting a Romance romance Dawn version. Usopp and Sanji. Just, again, filling out the team there for the Straw Hats, man. Oh, that looks so clean. That looks so good. Especially just to have it, you know, specific to the arc. Just because there are slight variations within their costumes as they go mm-hmm. from arc to arc. Because we've gotten Asanji, like this is the first time we've actually gotten a romance, a Dawn in general. We've gotten Asanji before. Let me see how different it is. It's more like, it's just he looks littler. He looks younger in this figure. <laughs> this is an earlier arc, yeah. That's fun, man. Filling out the teams. Always great to see that. Let's keep it going, though. Black beard. Man, look at this guy. This guy is looking big. Got the... You know, the fur leather soft goods back there, <laughs> the, you know, the fur cape there on the back. And I love all the paint apps on his belly, not leaving it blank. I love that, you know, just really going with the aesthetic of the show. And dude, this thing looks, this thing looks fun. Yeah, it's so cool that they're able to do the villains because, you know, we've gotten these big villains for like $200. So I assume this one's going to be like $100, $120. But it's, it's a, just a good sign that they're not scared to do these big huge characters because then you know it can lead to other things and other like the other licenses they have Mm -hmm. because where they're doing big characters right like we've been mentioning you know when we talk about lord of the rings you know this like shows that they want to do big characters we can get you know trolls and things like that yeah balrogs no balrog no sorry no please they need it but yeah blackbeard here looking amazing and uh, you know articulated too right those knees are articulated down there you can see those cuts the weight the belly the the, the, the pectorals are articulated so it's going to be fun. All right. Just a quick update on the Obi-Wan figure that we talked about a couple weeks ago, or I think last week, it's going to be $74 suspected to ship out June, 2025. So June 20, uh, next year, just a little more photos too, from the, from the SH figure arts team here, showing off the soft goods, different looks for old Ben as well. Yeah. As always, the, the improvement is the soft good, but they didn't update the head sculpts or at least it doesn't look to be, it looks the same as always. And okay. you know, it, it's good, but it's like, Something's off to it a little bit. There you go. You can have him fight in your Darth Vader there. Master of Evil. Uh, but they also teased a return of the S- Re- Revenge of the Sith. Obi-Wan Kenobi, man. With the soft goods. And then I'm not sure what anything is updated on there, but they did say display only on this one. So no plans to release it. We'll see. Same thing with the old Ben. Yeah, it looks like it's the same figure just with the... Instead of the... Actually, the... Original release came with no soft goods. So it was no hard plastic. It was just Obi-Wan in his Jedi robes. Whereas old Ben was a hard plastic and then he had swap out arms that you would take okay. out. But it's they're, they're for sure going to re-release it because they just like re-released the Revenge of the Sith Anakin. And oh, the, right, yeah. the, these two figures 
sold like hotcakes because <laughs> they're they're everybody's favorite characters. Everybody loves Revenge of the Obi Wan and Anakin, and so they went they went triple digits. Like literally a month <laughs> after release, they went all to triple digits. Yeah, it's like I, I, I just my love of Anakin. You know, you know me. I I never really pre ordered figures. And so I pre-ordered Revenge of the Anakin because I was like, oh, I need that. But I didn't pre-order <laughs> Obi-Wan because I was like, I'll get Obi-Wan later. There was never right. a later. There was, they sold out. It was, it was literally, I think, the people who pre-ordered it, that's it. Nobody else got it. So good re-release because, and I'm telling you right now, guys, it's probably going to be the same situation. So if you want, when they do re-release this, like your best bet is going to be pre-order because these these guys are not going to go and sell. It's just not, it's just, oh, they, yeah. it's just not them. <laughs> yeah, they will definitely not. Yeah. But yeah, so... Go get that second chance at him. I guess this is the later for now for you now. This is the later. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, second chance plus like update because now it's like it's better oh, yeah. than the original release because right? we never even got the the cape, the soft goods, the cloak, yeah, the, yeah, the robe, yeah, the robe. Yeah, it looks, looks good. All right, it's Tamashii Nation, so they showed off Lord of the Rings figures as we called it. Right, we saw the wavy hair. We get in Strider. We get in Aragon. In uh, this first initial offerings for Lord of the Rings from SH figure arts here. It is going to be $78. He's going to be about 6.1 inches tall. It's going up. Pre-orders open up November 18th. They will be releasing next June, June, 2025. Let's take a look here at Aragon though. Josh, what are you feeling? The cloak came out really good. I love the fabric that they're using and the color. I feel like all the colors on Aragon, I feel like they executed perfectly except for the, the leaf brooch. I feel like that green, yeah. I like that they tried to, I liked the effort that they try to make it shiny, but I think it's, it came off the wrong green. Like it needed to be a dark, deep forest metallic green, not this light kind of green that they have. I think what it's missing is it's missing the silver outline, which is like silver and that green just works so well together in that brooch. And yeah. We, we just don't have it. Right. It's missing that silver, but like, it's just too, it's just too small for that, but it, that would have added a lot. But even then, it's the wrong green. Like, think? I think because they're trying to make it shiny, which I love. I like that they're trying to make it shiny. Mm -hmm. But when you look at the, I don't know, I, I, when you look at the actual thing in the, in the movies, it's a deep green. Like, it's like mm -hmm. a deep forest green. Beyond that, there's something, it's just it's just an area that SH Figure Arts needs to improve in, which is their, their face sculpts. Like, they're always there. Like, I could see it, but they're off. Like, it's not like, and, and it's crazy because when I look at a Black Series figure, or a Mayfix figure, it's always 100% there for me. And it's like Mayfix, you expect that. Those are like $90, $100 figures. But yeah. for them not to outperform Hasbro, who Hasbro is doing their, you know, when even at, like if you get a Ghostbuster, an Indie, Black yeah, yeah. Series, whatever, MCU, I feel like they always knock the likeness out. And they're like $25, $30 figures. This mm -hmm. is a $78 figure. And I feel like it's good, but it's something a little off. I agree with you. I 100% agree with you. When I saw the official reveal, I was like, man, it looks good. Looking, looking soft goods. You get in the swords. You, the colors look good. Outfit looks great. But like, yeah, like the head proportions, something's off with like the symmetry of it. Yeah, the I forehead, know. I think, looks, I'll tell you what, I think the, if you look at the hair, how it like falls down and it makes mm -hmm. his forehead very triangular. I feel like it should have been wider. It's more of like the hair from the Coming front in. should be splayed out to the side more so it should be the forehead should look more more like a like a pentagon than a triangle mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying okay. yeah. like slight angle then not mm -hmm. almost to a point because it looks like it's like really to a point you know the hair yeah. comes down and that kind of throws me off a little bit i agree yeah something's going on there all right but with aragon here we're also getting mr baggins mr frodo baggins here there he's like, what do you want? Give me the ring. Give me the ring. Yeah, and like we said, we we knew these characters because you want to start out with the two fan favorites that you can lure everybody in. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's not the situation where it's like other people are doing this property besides Diamond, right? But Diamond produces so little quantities and so little figures that you want to like, because you know, and that, it's kind of super, it makes it confirm how intentional they are with the releases and the characters they pick. Because, you know, when we look at the My Hero line, they didn't do the big hitters because they're like, oh, you guys already got the big hitters. So let's give you kind of the side characters. But with this, we're like, nobody's doing it. Just give them the big hitters first. But yeah, here's Frodo. Let me give you the information out. About $67 pre-orders open November 18th. Again, May 2025. So a couple months earlier than the Aragon figure. And this Frodo will stand 4.7 inches tall and it will come with a packed in Smeagol figure as well. So it's a technically a two-pack now. Smeagol is a statue basically. 
but they're calling it a two pack for sixty seven. It's a really good price, honestly, for how large of a, a fig, not a figure, an accessory Smeagol is. Mm-hmm. But I am kind of bummed that because you know we've seen them do highly articulated figures that are let like two or three inches tall. Like you know we can look to Baby Goku, we can look to Krillin, basically any of the Daima figures now. The Daimas, yeah. Uh, and I just feel like Smeagol is such a huge character to the trilogy. You know, he's oh, like he's he's, he's super important. I hope in the future, right? Because it's not over, right? This could just be like a little stand in placeholder. I hope in the future that they give us a fully articulated version of this because I think it looks great. Like the sculpt, the the, the likeness is good. Uh, so hopefully down the line, we get an articulated version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think I, I was initially thinking of like, oh, it might be hard to get a figure into that squat position that he's usually in. But no. this is a sage figure. It's like they can pull that off. <laughs> there you can even get that squat position with the Marvel Legend. No, that's I got I get that position with my nightcrawler. That's how my nightcrawler is close. No, that's easy squat position. But yeah, so let's take a look at Frodo. He comes with that soft goods cape. Or yeah, the cape again. Same little uh, the brooch, the leaves of Lorien. Comes with two stings, one lit up, one not lit up when the orcs are around. And he also comes with the one ring. Yeah, and same thing, right? Like he looks the face right there looks weird like it looked like there, i see frodo i see elijah elijah but then in certain stuff i'm like this is like a handsome squidward elijah like what you know what i'm saying yeah uh, very prominent cheekbones yeah big jawline but like here i see it in that like kind of like distressed face right but here i don't like this is more like a mannequin yes 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 it's that's not, I think, I don't know, there's not enough paint on their figures, which is kind of crazy because you, you'd expect, even just like, even on the figure throughout, like not just the face, on all the figure, it's kind of lacking mm-hmm. in paint. One thing I, I, I can't tell from the picture, but with the sting, I'm wondering yeah. if they did like a, a blue and white kind of airbrush paint, or if they did a translucent and then paint the handle over. I hope, it would be really disappointing if that's not translucent, and it's just like a blue paint spray. I would agree. I would agree. I would prefer translucent, but if they do a good paint job, I'm okay with it. But yeah, translucent would just be yeah. No, screw the blue and white paint now. And it's it's hard to tell because this picture is like you know it has a digital background, so you can't really tell if it's actually glowing. But yeah, they better have gone translucent. All right, but that's not all, friends. They also showed off Legolas. Just a little teaser here. They're still pending a license or approval. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's the same issues, right? Same thing, like great cape, great sculpt, lacking in paint throughout the figure. Same thing, likeness, eighty percent there, but it's so matte, it's so flat. There's no, there's no washes. Like you, when you look at the Marvel Legends three D print tech, they with the three D print they print like little pinks and brown hues, and this has none of that. It's they just print the eyes on. Yeah, and you know maybe that's just the aesthetic they're going for. I don't know, but are you kidding me? Don't. Don't I mean, say with that. it that's being so consistent. Excuse. That's a cop out. How are you going to say that's the aesthetic from an eighty dollar figure when I'm comparing it to a twenty dollar figure, twenty five dollar figure? No, but but it's consistent. Consistently bad. No, my goodness, you cannot. No. That's your, you know, that's your 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 subjectiveness of it. But I don't know. I I'm with you, you though. I agree with that... me. You. What do you mean? You agreed with me? I don't. Oh, I yeah. It, it's not just us. I think majority of people will say the likeness is there, but they're all slightly off. And I don't think they would deliberately go for a flat mannequin aesthetic. Why would they want to do that? No, this, no. These are realistic figures. That's that's that wouldn't be in their attention, you know. True. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, I'm just trying to think differently. I agree with you, but I can also have another, you know, idea or or perspective on it as well. <laughs> it's wrong, though. I'll tell you that right now. All right. <laughs> Let's keep going here. War of the Rohirrim, the anime that's coming out for Lord of the Rings. Here we got Hera. You know, we were we were complaining when McFarland came out with those four inch figures, but this could be the reason why. I don't know. Maybe the six inch license went to SH Figure Arts, and so McFarland just picked up the four inch line. But yeah, we got a Rohan lady here, Hera. Yeah, and, and we, 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 we when we got the teaser for the SH Figure of the Rings, we thought that this was coming for sure. And it makes yeah. me almost think like, like, like you said in the last episode, the 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 ad. I almost feel like it's because of this anime that they were actually getting the movie figures. Like, yeah, I like think they, if it wasn't for this anime, they might not have picked up the license. Like, the anime was getting made, and they're like, oh, there's a new anime. What, what is it? Oh, it's a Lord of the Rings license. Okay, what else can we get? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, yeah, but this looks great, right? Because it is the anime, right? Like, it's just what HBO for Arts does a lot better. Um, it's what they do. And, like, this looks great. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 that's such a good point, because, like, 
with those other realistic figures, they're just having trouble. And it, I think what where my gripe is is that SH figure arts always didn't have trouble with human faces. Like they used to be, I feel like on top of their game, like with like if I look at old SH figures and they did realistically, they did such a good job. And then you know, we kind of saw them getting scared, or for some reason with the Spider Mans, they didn't want to include Spider Man, yeah. And then now with these ones, like these are like subpar for the import price that you're paying. But with these you know they're used to doing anime faces it's easy for them they dock it out of the park so there's nothing to complain here sculpts there paints there like this is there right <laughs> exactly but along with Hera we're also getting wolf and dude this looks this character I'm loving more and more like I don't know anything about him but man he's looking oh yeah I'm so excited for the show like just having Peter Jackson there you know help and then the animation it looks really beautiful yeah. too you know it's like it's it's a it's a nice marriage for us right as anime fans and as Lord of the Rings fans, getting them both in one world, you know, it's a very, mm-hmm. it's like when I watched the X Men anime stuff that they did in like the early two, early yeah. 2010, 2010s and stuff. That was fun. I just, you know, that was cool just to see those two aesthetics, man. All right, <clears throat> let's keep it going here. We're getting a Chogin, Chogokin, which basically is the die cast car, die cast metal, right? The Chogokin stuff is metal pieces, metal figures. They usually do, you know, robots, mechs, and stuff. <laughs> But the, here we have the Back to the Future Part 3 train uh, time machine. <laughs> Just kind of a weird swing here. But, I mean, there's Back to the Future fans. I'm pretty sure there's an anniversary happening about it soon. So why not? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like you know, ever this this one gets the most hate. But I feel like it was it's, it's such a cool, like, looking at the trilogy as a whole, it's cool that you go, like, you know, present, future, and then the past, you know, I yeah. actually like the, the this movie it wasn't that bad. <laughs> and this is a cool train. You know, the the final train, you know, sequence. It, mm-hmm. It's good. Shows up there, having fun. Man. All right, let's keep it going here from Demon Slayer Akaza. This is cool. Get, get just continue their show. Get uh, their shown in lines. It's shown in jump stuff. We got some Demon Slayer stuff here, and looking looking cool, man. I think the paint apps came out good on the face. Hair looks good. Pants again. I, I love that you know they've kind of got the baggy pants down here. They got that system down. So yep, good alternative to the really expensive Figma. And honestly, this has more articulation than the Figma, and it's cheaper. So SH Figures is just destroying a Good Smile Company in every way. Next up, Ren Goku. This is fun, right? This is everyone's favorite. This looks good. Man. And with this one, this is where I give it to Figma. Now the reason being is that Figma did a soft goods like cape and uh-huh. this one is coming off really really shell like it's not it's not sitting i think right on the figure if i'm looking at this figure flow yeah. It, yeah there's like some puff to it like it's floating in air you know you can't really see like i feel like there should be more definition of the shoulders and to where it drops right there should be a sharp mm-hmm. drop from where the shoulders are and to where his arms stop but it's like rounded and so it looks like it's just floating yeah with this one the Figma one takes it. Oh, one point for Figma, one point <laughs> for SH figure. But who will win? We'll see. But yeah, you just get to get more characters out there from the Demon Slayer line. And, and then on top of that, yeah, what's going to be really kind of scary is the cape is wide at the top and Rengoku has oh. really long hair and it's red at the tips. That is just going to rub off like any slight, you, you twist his head a little bit, you're going to get rub off. Right, if you make contact between those yeah, pieces, that's for sure. That is that is true. All right, next up though, something I'm excited for. We're getting guts and Casca in their band of the hawk looks. Man, this just I this makes me sad. Almost like I just get emotional seeing these two, you know, hanging out with everybody. But it's also good, like, to get earlier versions of these characters because we got like the berserker armor guts. We got like the reborn griffith and later characters and stuff so but it's good to get earlier figures and if they did the band of the hawk man well they eventually will right because we already got who did we get what was his name the, the little, L- little short guy what's his name yeah yeah i can't remember i don't know but yeah no but, i they're gonna complete that team for he's, sure he's he comes later he's not oh. necessarily with guts in the early times with the band of the hawk right he does come I- isidro is- isidro isidro yeah yeah there you go yeah and Shrike, like that's part of the fantasy realm of it. The, um, yeah. The magic users and stuff. But, but yeah, no, this would be cool to get like Griffith in like his metal armor, not his like god armor, you know, and like the, yeah. the, the cow thing that he has. And uh, to get all the guys there, that'd be, that'd be fun. Man. So, but yeah, yeah and, for and, sure. They're going to give us all the named kind of Band of the Hawk characters. 
And Costco, uh, like getting a chance at Costco too. So but yeah, no soft goods too getting thrown in here as well. And that nice blue red. So you got your Nosferatu Zod to go against with your Band of the Hawk guts. And these look so good, man. Like I, it, it, I feel like they're capturing the old anime aesthetic so well. You know, they have a lot wider faces, and the eyes are a lot far farther apart. And I feel like you know it, it, they did it perfect. The faces. He doesn't have the Dragon Slayer yet. He's got his long sword. So, uh, we'll see what the what else to do. But really excited and uh, excited for this. For this one for sure. Another thing from Berserk, they are doing a prop replica. So kind of a full one to one scale for stuff that they do. Our message for yards is a Crimson Baylet. Right? This is the thing that uh, Guts has. It gets transferred to Griffith has his own, uh, but it's the thing that calls the God Hand when you you don't need him the most. <laughs> and it's. It's so you said it's one to one, like for one human scale, one. right? Yeah, yeah, one to one for human scale. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Uh, that's actually awesome. That the fact that, like, maybe now they could even make I don't know if they'll ever do it, but they could do the sword, dude. They could do right. Do they do the demon slayer swords, right? Right, exactly. But this was this was big, right? So this was huge and wide. I wouldn't put it past them though. That's cool. Like, they're kind of getting into like role playing, kind of like with Hasbro, you know. I feel like the Hasbro yeah. stuff they, they sell relatively well, like, it's it's not a bad idea to have the figures and also one-to-one props yeah i agree i agree man and so the crimson baylet would be fun here just uh, don't get desperate don't use it next up display only we were talking about this weren't we josh dude you know me i'm, I'm i love my harry potter like when i rewatch those movies as a kid i loved them and as an adult i feel like i loved them even more which is kind of crazy to say because sometimes it's like as a kid you're like and then you watch go back to watch an old movie you loved and you're like oh my gosh i just like that because i was a kid and it was kind of silly yeah yeah and I've been starting, to, I'm reading the books right now, and you, I started to realize how well they executed those movies to the books, you know? Because you had to cut out some things, right? Yeah, of course. But they but got was... the such, the inter- I haven't read them all, I'm all over the second one right now, but still, the the important parts, they did it so well. Like, I don't know whoever was in charge of those movies. <sighs> they Chris, did Chris Columbus, I think it was the first. The guy who sailed on the Mayflower? That's Christopher Columbus. <laughs> I think that's his name, Chris Columbus. Was the one who did one and two. And then we oh, got good. Alfonso Calrón. Yeah, did, so he good. Did, he did third, right? And that's my favorite, man. And that just like, that primed him, you know? I'm actually rewatching the movies right now with, with my wife. <sighs> They're and so good, John. It's funny because like, I, I, I've never, I've always been like Harry Potter, whatever, whatever. But like, I grew up with it, right? I grew, I read the books. I read, I watched. Oh, the we, we would go to all the movie premieres, man. We would, exactly, dude. Those Megaplex events were events back in the oh, day, yeah. man. When new video games or new movies came out, it People was a gathered. party in Megaplex, dude. They don't do that anymore, man. It's had those experiences are gone. But Megaplex is a local theater here, a local theater chain here that we have. Oh, um, really? Is it only in Utah? Yeah, yeah, it's only in Utah. Oh, gotcha. Um, but rewatching them, it's funny because like. Alyssa, my wife has always known me as just like a never a Potter head. Like I just don't like watching it. But like, yeah, yeah I always <laughs> try to tell you. I always try to tell you, John, they're good. They're good. But watching it, it's funny because like I sit there and I quote the entire movie because like I I know these. <laughs> and so she's turning to me. She's like, I thought you didn't like Harry Potter. <laughs> she's like, I'm gonna tell everybody you do like it. <laughs> oh, it's so good. And yeah, I was just talking about how you know I was so sad because we were talking about the Lord of the Rings last week, and I was so sad that the Harry Potter. They picked it up like it was this was like five or six years ago. This was quite yeah. a long time ago. And they just gave us the trio from Sorcerer's Stone and Snape from Sorcerer's Stone. And then they canned it. And I thought, you know, they were going to do like all the years in sequential order with yeah. maybe like the dark arts professor. Because every year, you know, there's the dark arts professor. <laughs> I was that like, that's going to be so sick. And now it's coming back finally. Yeah. And we're getting Goblet of Fire, Harry. And dude, I'll tell you right that. now, I don't know. I don't have. I don't have complaints with this likeness. And I think because yeah. it's a grimacing angry face <laughs> that it hides the the likeness better. Because I feel like while it does look, I would say, a little cartoonish, like it doesn't look as realistic as I would maybe like these figures to look. I don't mind that cartoon. I think it looks like Harry. I agree with you. And that's the kind of the same thing I had with that Frodo, <clears throat> right? When he was slightly grimacing, I could, it, uh, the believability right? of the head. That's what you said. Yeah, you're right. It was there, but it's then hot. when they're just straight, you know, straight face, it kind of shows off a little bit better. Right. It just might be that uncanny, uncanny valley, you know, sort of thing. Right. But yeah, Goblet of Fire, Harry, dude. We'll see what else they do. One more reveal from Harry Potter, though. Lord Voldemort, dude. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Like, the soft goods are perfect. The likeness is there. And, you know, he's one and done. Like, you have to execute this perfectly because his look doesn't change. 
throughout any of the movies, unless you want to do the yeah. Professor Quirrell one or the baby one, the baby one, baby. That's my favorite. The fetus one is my <laughs> the, favorite. The fetus, the fetus one, yeah. <laughs> no, dude, I'm so pumped because I feel like once they pick this up, it's going to be kind of the same thing with Naruto. I feel like we're in a different time with collecting. I feel like there's more collectors, I feel like, than ever. You know, more adult collectors, I would say. And so I feel like it's like going to be the Naruto thing where they're going to go deeper than they did the first time. And they're going to go continue the line. Now, I guess let's just talk what we want next, right? I feel like if they're doing Goblin of Fire, dude, give me give me a Cedric. I was just going to say Give me Cedric a Cedric with the same, like the, the with his Triwizard Cup costume with Harry. You know, I need that. Because then you can recreate the final scene with Harry and Cedric where they, My boy! Where Vol- well, Voldemort shows up, right? Because that's, oh, right, that's yeah. the end yeah, scene yeah. where Voldemort gets revived. And then it's Harry and Cedric in their Triwizard Cup costume. Yeah. yeah, no, we need a Hermione, right? We need a, I need a Draco. I need a Draco Malfoy. I need right. a Neville Longbottom. I need Seamus. Right. I need, I need Next, the whole team. Albus, dude. We need a Dumbledore. Which Gotta version? Dumbledore. Which version though? Gray stash or the new Dumbledore? New, new, new. I think oh. new because when he was in like one and two, he was really cloaked out and he is, is like, he was really bulky because that Dumbledore was like real older, right? Yeah. Whereas the new Dumbledore, he could, he could kind of, he, he could throw, he could throw down. He just had a belt. So nah, bro, everything throw up. Down. That double door was. We need down. a Tom Riddle. When do we get the basilisk? No, I don't think <laughs> Tom Riddle too deep of a cut. Like unless we get like everybody. Like unless you like you gotta right, give me crab Fred and Goyle. You gotta give me crab and Goyle before you give oh. me a Tom Riddle. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, but yeah, there. There's the Harry Potter man. I think. I think what it is is that SH figure is just in a better place. They are just you know able to produce more things. What it seems like. It's what it seems you like know? they're getting so many licenses now. Like yeah. each week they're picking up new licenses. And dude, now I'm thinking like, you know how we seen One Piece they're doing big characters? Freaking Hagrid, man. Oh, oh think about God, that, dude. dude. Like a hundred dollar, hundred twenty dollar Hagrid figure. A Robbie with... Coltrane. Yes. Yeah, and they'll do it because they can do it. They can do big characters. That would be really cool. That's like and special, man. You can even do too a Harry Potter troll. You know? Yeah, that's it's true. all in the dungeon. <laughs> As I thought you'd know. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll see what they can do here, man. But they're cooking with these two. Excited to see what else they bring out. That's not it, though. We're getting a Spider-Man Noir from Across the Spider-Verse or Into the Spider-Verse with the Spider-Ham. I think it was like a fourth version of Spider-Ham that they've done in a different post. Hey, that's good. uh, Yeah, he's got the Spider-Man Noir. Jacket's a little bulky for me. And I really would have liked if they went like a leather or pleather route. But I, you know, constraints, constraints. Me, you're right. The, the jacket is kind of, like you said, it's bulky. But even beyond pleather, I actually would have liked, I feel like they need to use discretion. I love this whole gung-ho where they're all using soft goods in any chance they get. But I think sometimes hard plastic is better than soft goods in certain cases for certain characters. And in this case, I think when it comes to like an animated character, especially this stylized anime character, when I look at this character, it doesn't look like the, the the soft goods cannot replicate the exaggeration, the stylization of the hard plastic that you could get. Like if I look at the Sentinel figure. Yeah, dude, the Sentinel yeah. figure. That one does know. go off. I can't <laughs> like, oh, here it is. I, I took off the attachment, but like, look how big this color is. It's like ridiculously big because it's exaggerating the color piece. Whereas that color piece, it's big, but it's like not floating up right. Yeah, it's flat. It's coming down. It's drooping. And then you don't you get at- that. Yeah. If you look at his arms, you they're thin because, you know, he's really all the characters in the Spider-Verse are very thin, whereas this makes him look like the arms are thick. And so I think for this case, it would have been best to go hard plastic. Yeah. Like because they do it before, you know, like where they do like yeah. you could just do like the flaps like they do mm-hmm. it with. Well, they did it with Piccolo. They did it with uh, different characters that have those. Yeah, things. yeah, yeah. They, like, do oh, they do it with, like I'm just looking at my like Browley and it's like hard plastic. Oh, flaps. Yeah. They're just articulated and they just go up and down, you know, get out of the way so you can articulate the legs. Exactly. So. All right. Last up, though, I might cry. Jackie Chan from Police Story. Dude, I don't know how long I've wanted a Jackie Chan figure, probably my whole life. But this is just beautiful, dude. And Police Story is such a great Jackie Chan movie to do it from, man. All of his fun antics. And here you get from the opening scene where he's like literally hanging off of a bus just trying to stop somebody. Right. And so to get the Chan man, I, I love this, dude. I'm so happy with this. Yeah, you had to get it. And now that we have, you know, SH with Bruce Lee to finally add a Jackie Chan with that, you know, just legends. Goats, and then yeah. the likeness, dude. See, that's what I'm saying. It. That's why I'm like, crushed that's what I'm it. saying. We're, like, you say, oh, they're in- they did it intentionally with Lord of Rings. You can't say that because <laughs> that's just giving them a cop up because we can see what they do. We see what they did with Voldemort. Now, Voldemort is not human. 
Like, <laughs> but this Jackie Chad dude, this is one hundred percent human sculpt, and this there I have no complaints with this. This looks exactly like he looked in the movie, a young Jackie Chan to perfection. There's no complaints. Yeah, yeah. This this does make my argument, you know, invalid because you can see this as a human, as a realistic person. But I mean, I think it's just the love, right? The love of this per- of uh, maybe, Jackie maybe. Chan. They're more familiar. They see Jackie Chan's face <laughs> enough, right? Maybe that's it. That's true. Maybe that's they true. They haven't seen Aragon enough and Frodo enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah they only right. watched the movie once when the anime. You're came right out. about that. That's it. That, you found out the reason. That's it. I think it's just the love of the character and the people that just know him. And, you know, they, maybe they got their best three artists to do the face sculpt and they just kept reiterating until it was perfect because you got to put that respect on Jackie Chan. Oh, I cannot wait for this pick. This and I and just like with Bruce Lee, like you know, we got different versions from him from different movies. Right, right, right. Yeah. I hope we get different Jackie Chans from different movies, dude. I want. I need some. I need some expressions. I need him like the yeah, face, yeah, 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 right where he got perfect. hurt or something. Perfect. But yeah, I would love any and all Jackie Chan figures. Please, thank you. Even what was that babysitting one he did, or like a daycare one? What did he do? It was like a daycare movie. I need a rush hour version. A rush hour movie, like, yeah. Uh, Shanghai noon. Yeah. I need drunken master version. No, no, that one. That one has. I think that one. If anything, that one's gonna be next. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's like you go with class. Yeah, this is classic. Go with police story. What's the cop stories that he does? It's not police story. Super uh, cop. Need some super cop. I need some rumble in the Bronx. Yeah, rumble oh, in that, the Bronx. No, that one is coming. No, for sure. I would say rumble, rumble in the Bronx, Jackie, and what else do we say? I said super drunken cop. master. Those drunken two. master. Oh yeah, yeah. Those two, I feel like that would be. Those are the three, you know, classic Jackie Chan movies. It has those to be rumble. Are, yeah, rumble is so much fun. All right, that's it for SH Figure So big thing from Tamashi Nations here, Josh. If you had to pick one from this from the SH Figure Arts here, what would you choose as your pick here, man? Because there's a lot. Holy crap, dude! SH Figure Arts absolutely crushed it. Like I feel like every reveal was a knock out of the park. They're improving things. You know, we had our complaints about the face goals, but. I'm just I'm just grateful to get Lord of the Rings line, you know. Oh my gosh, this is hard. I would have to say, shoot. I'm oh, sorry. I love Harry Potter. Harry Potter, the Goblet of Fire, Harry. Nice, 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 nice. My pick. I I was. It's the Chan man, dude. I love Jackie Chan. I love Jackie Chan. I was gonna give it to Guts and Casca, but like Jackie Chan's just. I've. He's been my whole life. Like Dad showing us the movies of Chan, Jackie Chan. You know. Um, dude, now you can take a picture of Jackie Chan fighting Goku, like. That's yeah. what I need. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, get get the Super Saiyan like effect behind it. Jackie. Like, put a blue aura around him for yeah. yeah. Be- so yeah, I, I'd go and give it down to to Jackie, man. I, I love that guy so much. Let us know down below your pick here from the SH Figure Arts reveals from Tamashi Nations 2024, friends. Thank you for joining us. As always, keep collecting, keep playing, and may the X Figure Gods smile upon you. Peace.